we're on my phone camera. I hope that's okay. You're gonna hear loud noise because Bob pull in because he's my reinforcements. I wanted to vlog this though because obviously I'm gonna make a TikTok, but I wanted to kind of go into more detail on YouTube. So basically, if you guys know, I have little baby Nora and you can watch right now. She is limping. She's got her front left. It seems like more in her hoof, but I don't know for sure yet. And I don't like any kind of injuries, period, but especially legs, but it's good to catch it early because when they're young and small, they can come out of pretty much any injury, even if it was a broke, like a broken leg. So I got her out here in the little open random barn lot away from mom. Mom is cool with it. Um, once her udder starts to get a little tight in a couple hours, she'll probably be like, where the heck's my baby? But we should be back by then. Gave her some fresh hay, fresh water. And there's, I waited on him because I knew it would be nice having help because she is a little bit of a fit girl, but this is where we're gonna put her. And a lot of people are always like, why do you put them in your truck? Why don't you just hook up a trailer? I don't know why there's a random dollar. Don't ask questions. But let me explain that real quick. So the only livestock trailer that we have is a 24 foot gooseneck. So not only is that not not compatible with my truck because my truck does not have a gooseneck hitch but it's also really large and it would be really scary for such a small calf to be in such a big trailer also wasteful because it would just take a lot more gas a lot more time to get to the vet when I'm dragging that big ass trailer for just one little calf so I'm putting her in the back seat. She'll be fine, she'll be secure, it's safe. Dad's grabbing a tarp for extra protection for my truck's sake, but it's my truck, I don't care. This is why I bought a truck, so that I could do shit like this because I have things that happen that I need to make sure that I can get them to the vet. So dad's gonna grab that tarp, we're gonna put it down for some extra protection, and then we'll get little baby Nora into the uh, truck and then we will go to Alrighty, the Alrighty, I did not videotape that part for obvious reasons, but we are on the road. She's in the back seat to be more safe. We did throw a rope halter on and that is simply just to make sure that we can um, have more control because when I get out at the vet, it's gonna be just me. And so that way, oh, I know, she's gotta get her sea legs for a second. She's never been in a truck before, so it's gonna be a lot of adjusting, but she doesn't, and she's peeing. It's okay, we put a tarp down for that very reason. It's okay, you know, everybody pees. She seems to be pretty okay. Like I'm watching her body language. Obviously I don't want her to be stressed out. So ears are perky, not, you know, pinned back to her head. Eyes are awake and alert, but not, you know, super open. And she's not mooing in distress. So she's actually pretty calm. She's actually handling this very well for right now. The vet is about a 40 minute drive. And obviously I'm not going super fast cause I don't want to scare her. her. Roads back here are awful bumpy as you can probably tell by the video, but she's doing really good. No complaints so far. Good job, Nora. We're just gonna do this to help you. I'm gonna make sure that you're nice and healthy. Sis, how are you peeing? Yeah, you're a little nervous. That's okay. That's why the drool and everything. But I mean, you can't blame them for being nervous. That's why you just gotta stay calm and just let them be animals. That's why I don't get upset if they pee in my truck or something because she doesn't know what's going on. She doesn't know that this is for her own good, that this is gonna help her. She has no idea. So you just gotta be nice and just not be upset, you know? Trucks, I can get, you know, I can get it detailed. I can do all that. It's all Gucci, so. We're almost to the vet though. We are like a few minutes, ma'am. So, you will be in a more sturdy environment where you won't be falling everywhere. We have made it to the vet. And since it's so nice, they're gonna probably just see us outside. I'm probably not gonna film while we're actually, you know, doing all this because I'll be hands on deck helping them if they need any help. And I'm not gonna say, I'm also too awkward. Like I'm not gonna be like, hey, do you care if I film this? <laughs> like I just can't, but I'll let you know at the end, like what the diagnosis is and then we'll get her. But I might try to go ahead and let her out of the truck, but that might be fun. So we'll see, we'll see how this goes. Um, Okay, Nora, you ready? What are you doing? You're like climbing on the seat now? You got all kinds of confidence now. Alrighty, I like okay. it. We are inside, huh? That's good though. I know. See, what the heck are we doing? Why am I in here? You sniffing? You did so good though. Yeah. Hiding the chair. Huh? Oh, you're so cute. He's so cute. Okay, so we are done. We have a umbilical cord infection that caused us to have some arthritis in our joints, which unfortunately is common in calves, and usually it doesn't get caught super early, so it can cause them to not make it. Oswald had something similar. His was more my was. 
white muscle disease and so I didn't get to vlog that as much because I wasn't really into this thing as much when I had Oswald but basically all his joints filled with pussy nasty infection and they had to get drained hers isn't that serious so she got a shot of an anti-inflammatory and some antibiotics I'll give her another shot of antibiotics here in four days she's gonna go back home hang out in the barn with mom because obviously since she's limping I don't want her to have to get around a lot so we're gonna go back home she did amazing for the vet like she was really good she weighs 126 pounds thick little lady but um, we got her successfully in the car well truck and so now I'm just gonna get home get her out get her reunited with mom and she's just gonna hang out in the barn with mom for probably a week just to make sure she's good and then if anything else happens call the vet you know but I also got some lice medicine for my girls because I have to give it to them once a month um, because lice are inevitable in cattle and you just have to get on top of it because it's just irritating for them you know they lose a little bit of hair it's itchy nobody wants lice so got some more of that for them while I was here um, do you want me to roll the window down so you can like put your head out like you're <laughs> like you're a dog I'm just checking it out man seeing what's going on. I mean, you've got me in this vehicle. I might as well. Oh my God. Are you looking out the window? <laughs> like a whole ass dog. I mean, I'm glad that you're not stressed out, <laughs> but man, really making yourself at home. Oh, I know. Look at you. Oh, did you finally decide to lay down? You realized that that was the easiest way to travel? What a good little baby. But we're almost home. But that's okay, you did so good. We are almost home. Oh, you are so stinking cute. I hate to intrude on your nap, but we're home. Oh, and your mommy knows we're home. Oh, your mom's excited to see you. We've been gone for two hours. She's like, where the heck is my baby? Huh? So let's go see mom. Ma'am, your mother wants you. We have to get out so we can go see your mom. She's worried. She's worried sick. She hasn't seen her baby. Eleanor, Eleanor, listen. I know I took your baby, but I brought her back. She just needed some medicine, okay? So I have to get her out of the truck. Alrighty? She's like, just bring my baby. Tell him. Okay, baby is back with mama. I brought her back, I know. I know I had her for two hours, but she needed some meds. So like I said, she is going to stay in this pen with mama for about a week, just to monitor that leg, keep her in a smaller pen, make sure that she comes out of that okay. And then I do have to give her that other shot of antibiotics here in four days. So she did great, cannot complain. She did pee a couple times, but <laughs> it was on the blanket on the tarp, so it didn't get in my truck. And you know, you can't really complain. Are you getting used to milk? You were gone too long, it stirred up an appetite, huh? Yes, that was such a good Nora baby. Well, there you have it. That's how I get my calves to the vet when I need them to. And you know, we don't wanna hook up a big old trailer. We wanna keep them calm, comfortable and everything. And you know, it doesn't cause much damage. There's a little lick marks. There's some stuff I'll clean up. I can wipe it out, but you know, that's why we bought her. She was a farm truck. <laughs> If you guys like the video, please give it a thumbs up. That really helps me out. And go ahead, subscribe so you can be here for all the chaos. But I'm going to go park this truck down here and have me some lunch and do some other stuff. So I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.